Hey, this is Mary from Kamaj Fiber Arts, and thank you for buying my Blending the Color Wheel on the Drum Carter Home Study Course. This video is just to clear up a few things um, that you may not get from the PDF that I sent you, um, just so you have a really great outcome. So you're going to get four um, bags of fiber. You're going to get a bag number one, number two, number three, and a number four. Number one, two, and three you're going to split up to make your secondary colors. And um, number four is the fiber that you're also going to use for your tertiary colors. So what you're gonna do with bags number one, two, and three is you're going to take the fiber out and you're going to split it into three equal sections. So I usually will just kind of, sort of wing it and split my colors like this. So you can weigh them if you want. You're going to be using half one color and half the other color to blend to make a secondary color. So you can either blend them or you can kind of wing it like I do and split your um, fiber into three equal sections. The next part of this video is to show you how to correctly blend your fibers on your drum carter to get a really nice blend. Now to properly blend colors together, uh, you are going to take pieces of each color. So for, to make a color, we're going to blend two different colors together, right? So I have two pieces here and I'm going to split my first color, oh, maybe into four sections. And your type of carter depends on how thick you can put your fiber through. So I, today I'm using a stretch man batter and it will take quite a bit of fiber versus say the finest or something else with a very large TPI which means more pins per inch and it makes finer fibers. Okay so first now here's the thing you're only going to use a small section of your drum carter. You don't want to use the whole drum because these bats are going to be small they're just kind of sample size. So keep your fiber in the middle and I would um, open up this fiber to the width that you want. Now again, you may not be able to do this on the finest, but most carters you can do this. And you can see the small section of fiber that I'm carting. All right, so then you're gonna take the next color, the second color, and you're going to card that on top of the, the first color. And then you're going to take your first color and card that back on top. So you see we are layering or stacking colors to be able to get a nice blend. And this is the same thing you would do if you were um, carding different types of fiber together. Okay, so you're going to stack it on top until all of it's complete, and then I'm going to take the bat off the carter and show you how to put it through again. Here's your bat with the um, colors layered, right? So if you turn it sideways, you can see the layers of color, right? But we want to keep it flat, so I may strip this into four sections. And then when you feed it again, keep the colors stacked on top of each other. Again, you may want to spread it out just a little bit, but try not to have your colors side by side. They have to be on top of each other to blend nicely. You can even pull the colors to out a little bit so they're more on top of each other. Okay, there's the side, that's the side by side, but you want to have it the other way. So you may need to open it up just a little bit. So the colors are on top of each other as much as you can. Again, keeping this, keeping this a small section here, don't go across your whole drum, drum carter. Now I'm going to show you how much this mad batter can take. This is just half of that little bat that I stripped into two. So I'm going to put it all through, keeping it still just about this width. Now if you get stuck, you can always graft a little bit 
my card and draft a little bit. But the mad batter will take quite a bit. Um, if you have any other carter, it may not. So I'm just letting you know. Okay, I am going to card this one more time for ultimate blending, and then I will show you what the finished product looks like. All right, here's your finished product. So this is blended three times on my matte batter, and these are the two colors that I used. So you can see it does a really beautiful job. Now, different carters, like I said, will blend differently, so you may, you may need to blend a fourth time, um, or you may need to just blend two. So you just have to see with the particular color that you have. Now, make sure and clean your carter in between each color because if there's any color left on the drum carter, it's going to skew your colors in the end. So um, look at my video on how to clean your drum carter um, on YouTube, <laughs> and um, it will tell you how to do that. So if you have any questions, you can email me at info at kamajfiberarts.com. And thank you again so much for buying the Little Home Study Course, and I hope you have a lot of fun and learn a bunch about color.